Whoa. Y'all, do you? <laughs> Hold up. All right, you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's review because it's one of those products that I just didn't expect for it to come out. And when I saw it, I literally screamed because I'm here for it, okay? So it's a Morphe Continuous Set and Mist. You guys do know the original version. This is their Radiant Finish um, Continuous Mist, but now they do have a mattifying version of that. And I just love the black and the white. I'm so here for it. Um, but I do want to test these two out, see if there's a difference between the two, um, what it really performs like and all that good stuff. So so I will do that for you guys in today's video. But before we do start, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into your review. So I'm currently baking my face right now because I do want to do my makeup first and then move on to the setting spray, of course. But I do want to touch bases on the Morphe Continuous Set and Mist because they do have two versions now. And I'm so excited because when it comes to like a set and mist or a set and spray, this is one of my favorites out there. I love the formula. I love the way it sprays on the face. It's very light and airy. But the fact that I saw that they came out with their mattifying continuous set and mist, you guys, when I saw this in trend mood, I literally screamed. I'm like, what? They came out with a version for oily skin people. Like, I'm so here for it. So I had to go ahead and pick it up. Um, I do want to mention, though, that Ulta was a little bit sneaky with this because when I went in the store originally, I didn't see in the front or in the Morphe section. I went all the way to like the back section where they have all their hair products and that's where they had it. So I feel like they were secretly like hiding it. I don't know what was going on, but I grabbed it and I'm so excited to try this out for you guys. So what I want to do first is compare the prices. They're both the same price, you guys. They're about $16 each, but they do have two different claims. So let me first start off with the original version and I will show you guys what it looks like. I'm sure at this point you have seen it a million times hopefully it's focusing but i do want to read the claims on the back of this um so it claims to be a micro fine mist that sets your liquid or powder makeup with a radiant finish and it also says on here that it's a continuous air powered spray that delivers even and controlled application so that is what it says for this one but moving on to the mattifying continuous set and mist i will read the back of it um but i do want to touch on the packaging i love the white you guys like something about white i'm just obsessed with um it will get a little bit dirty not gonna lie in the future but i love the white for now so on the back it says that it's a mattifying continuous set of mist of course and it also says matte like that um but moving on to the claims itself it says it's a micro fine mist that sets liquid or powder makeup to a smooth matte finish um it's also a continuous air power spray that delivers even and controlled application with a refreshing scent so it has a scent in this one I look you kind of want to see what it smells like it's a very light scent but I kind of wish it didn't have a scent because that's what I loved about this one I can spray it over and over and it didn't bother me um, but with this if you are sensitive to scents I will let you know now that it does have one but I will say it's not too strong at the same time so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use these two together I thought about like you know the different ways I can do this video but normally what I do is after I set my face with powder I spray this on and then I always take a mattifying set of mist or spray at the end and just set my whole entire face so I'm I'm gonna do the same exact thing and see if there's any difference that I notice. So let me finish my makeup off first. Um, let me grab this brush right here. I always use my e.l.f. blush brush just to remove all the powder off my face. Now to set my face, I'm using my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder in the shade Y505. Y'all, I swear, whenever I wear my hair back, I just feel like I just look a little different. Like, I have something going on back here, but y'all can't see it, so I kind of look a little bald. But it's whatever. <laughs> and of course, to bronze my skin up a little bit, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Coconutty Bronzer. So now moving on to the setting spray itself, I do want to show you guys what I got first at the beauty supply store. I finally got a fan to blow my face. Like, I don't know what took me so long. I used to use like magazines, papers, and all that good stuff. But this is just one of the best, um, you know, things I've ever bought in. And it's so cheap at the same time. So definitely pick one of these up. Um, but moving on to the setting spray, I'm first going to use the Morphe Continuous Set and Mist, the radiant version first, and set my whole entire face because it does kind of make your makeup like melt into your skin and look very skin-like. So I always have to use this. In the mist, you guys, 
The mess is so freaking good. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> So now that it's dry, y'all can see my skin looks very nice and very skin-like right now, but it doesn't look too greasy and oily. That is why I love the setting spray. It does claim to be a radiant finished setting spray, but at the same time, my skin is not looking too greasy, if you know what I mean. So now that that's set, I'm going to move on to blush. And I'm using the Anastasia Gradient Blush Kit, and I'm taking the shade Chocolate right here. So you guys, I was kind of sitting here thinking if I should apply highlighter or not because I want to do this whole entire wear test and with highlighter, it kind of throws it off so I may not apply it. Um, so moving on to my lips itself, I'm going to use the ColourPop BFF3, I think that's what it's called, their lip liner and I saw it at Ulta yesterday and it looks like the perfect like brown color when it comes to lip liner. So I'm going to apply this on my lips and see what it looks like. And I like the color as well, but it's very, very creamy on the lips. Um, but moving on to lip gloss, I'm using my vintage lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna apply some of this on the lips. So now I'm gonna come a little bit closer so y'all can see what my skin looks like before I spray the mattifying setting spray on my skin. I mean, it doesn't look too dewy right now. It kind of looks matte, to be honest, but this is my skin right here. So going on to the mattifying continuous setting mist, I am way too excited. I kind of need to calm down a little bit, but let me spray this and see what it does to my face. So. So as I was spraying my face, the mist was kind of going in like two different directions. So I think I got a bad nozzle, but let me still spray my face and see what it looks like. Woo! Whoa. Y'all, do you? <laughs> Hold up. Let me, let me fan my face. Y'all, this kind of looks <laughs> wait do y'all see this there's like little white dots everywhere let me just fan my face first because i don't know if i sprayed too much so you guys it kind of has like those little white dots all over like if you even see my phone up close hold on I'm kind of recording my voice but y'all can see all the white dots on my phone that is what it looks like on my face as well so i'm just gonna grab my beauty sponge and see if i can just like press it into my skin so as i'm pressing into my skin it kind of just goes right away like it's not sitting on my skin thank god because i thought i just ruined my makeup but with this setting spray make sure you don't spray too much because a little bit is all you really need I'm not gonna lie to you guys for a second there I was kind of freaking out because I just thought like this was not gonna turn out well but when I do come up a little bit closer y'all can see like my skin looks matte okay there's no oil or anything peeking through it is as matte as it gets so it is not lying when it comes to like the setting spray if you're looking for a good mattifying setting spray for now I will say this is doing the job but i still have to wear it throughout the day and see you know what it looks like of course so now what i'm gonna do is just go on about my day and just you know run some errands of course and just see how this holds up throughout the day i'm not gonna do like an eight hour wear test i'm just gonna like check in randomly and show you guys what my face looks like because right now it is as matte okay as it gets so let's see in a couple hours what it looks like and with that being said i'll check in with you guys in a little bit all right you guys so it's been about four four and a half hours and i'm checking my time right now and this is what my face looks like um with that being said i am looking in my viewfinder and i'm so so mad you guys about this point in my typical day um i will be very oily like in my t-zone on my chin my forehead and so on but y'all can see like 
this is very very matte i do think i sprayed a little bit too much of the setting spray let me go ahead and grab it but with this i think i sprayed a little bit too much um i will say a little bit does go a long way but when it comes to the setting spray itself i will say it does do exactly what it claims this stuff will keep you matte okay if you do have dry skin i'm telling you right now stay away from it and if you do have oily skin make sure you don't overdo it you should be fine um i will say initially when i sprayed it on my face the white spots i think it's because i did spray it too much but i will try it again tomorrow and see what happens then um when i do spray a light layer but um with that being said when i grabbed my beauty blender and pressed it into my skin it kind of went away so i had no issues um but i do want to point out throughout my day i noticed that Underneath my eyes, my nose, and my forehead were kind of like looking very dry and scaly and that's never happened to me before so i'm not sure if it's the powder that i use or the setting spray but i do think it's a setting spray because typically that never ever happens to me so i'm not sure if y'all can see it on camera but my under eyes and my nose just look very very dry so even though i did say that i still recommend this product because it's so unique compared to everything else in my collection it's a very different setting spray but at the same time i think it's very necessary for those who do have very oily skin so come summertime I'm sure that I'm gonna be using this all the freaking time. So hope you guys enjoyed my video Let me know down below your thoughts if you do try it out so Let me know down below how you feel about the product um, But with that being said, I love you guys so much Make sure you like subscribe before you do leave and I'll see you guys in my next one